Hi everyone, welcome to World of Battle Pass Season 4 with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not. Neither any of these blokes. It's another season, it's another year, it's another season of Battle Pass. Battle Pass Season 4. Battle Pass has been a pretty good thing, I reckon, for World of Tanks over the last 12 months. And uh, as we head into 2021, Season 4 is a month because Season 4 is going to be different to Season 1, 2 or 3. There's going to be three separate chapters of Season 4. Still goes for about three months and... Um, this video is going to be a little bit how you can get some stuff for nothing, stuff for free, and if you want to pay for some stuff, you can get some extra stuff as well. Whether it's going to be worth it for you, for me, for others, is entirely uh, situational, and we're going to go through that in this video. Most of the stuff I can show you, you can see right in the garage. We'll start off with the tanks, the ultimate reward, I guess you could say, for Battle Pass, are the Tier 9 tanks. They're not premiums, but you can they can share crew. The K-Panther is one of the new ones, or K-Panzer, uh, there's also the K-91PT, and the three that are already in the game the char future 4 which is a tier 9 auto loading french medium tank the ae phase 1 the half tracked american heavy tank also a tier 9 and the object 777 version 2 now like premium tanks these tanks can share crews I've, i keep saying this i keep saying this sometimes i feel like it falls upon deaf ears but you can still share crew in these tanks i've got my leopard crew in the k panzer i've got my object 268 version 4 crew in the k91 pt they don't cop a penalty for driving these tanks it's something i can't stress enough stress enough plenty of good players still don't understand anyway let's have a look at the battle pass you get stuff for playing random battles steel hunter front lines ranked battles is there anything else if there is tell me because i've probably forgotten it now most of the stuff i can show you today is in the garage all you do is you click up here just below the battle button and it's got uh, the number in my case it's got number 12 i've only been playing for three days i'm already up to level 12 there are 50 levels on each chapter okay there are three chapters there are 50 levels now you can go through all these things that you can get you can get styles. At the first thing you get is a style for the um, T110E3. Look how cool it looks. Now that's not the base style. That's the that's the that's the one you get for free. As you progress, the style gets better. Now it happens. All you have to do is apply it once, and it happens automatically. And you get some pretty cool stuff on the tanks. Now you can look at these tanks in your garage, whether you've got the tank or not. You can uh, you can preview that style by looking at the battle pass things. There's also bonds. I love chasing bonds. Don't worry about that. There's 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 credits. There's uh, crew uh, training booklets, fragments directives personal reserves we love personal reserves and of course premium time there's also these tokens battle pass tokens battle pass tokens is what you exchange for the tanks and other things you can also exchange them for bonds as well at the end of the season i think anyway battle pass tokens as opposed to battle pass points every section every section i mentioned i was up to level 12 in the first chapter just a few seconds ago every section is worth 50 battle pass points now to earn the battle pass points you uh, you get points by playing random battles, Steel Hunter, Front Lines, Front Lines not now, but maybe later, and of course Ranked. Now if you want to get extra stuff, you purchase the Improved Pass. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's worth it for me. Is it worth it for everybody? No, it's not going to be worth it for everybody. As always, spend responsibly. I've got a shitload of gold, so I'm going to buy the first chapter uh, with gold. The other option, which has now disappeared for me, the other option which has now disappeared for me is... Um, uh, not that one. The other option was to, to, to pay it for cash in the premium shop. If you buy it for gold using your gold in your account that you might have left over for uh, left over from loot boxes or from any other purchases, then that, that option disappears. But that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do because I've got a lot of gold that I want to get rid of. So I'll... I will be purchasing the uh, individual chapters. Now, if you're... If you're if you're close to, to um, if you're close to a level, say we really want to get this level, say we really want these um, these credits or whatever it is, you can purchase stages. Now this this option this option di did come up before I purchased that um, improved pass for the first chapter, but uh, I don't think it was supposed to. Maybe it was a bug on the, on the early days because I couldn't replicate it before I made this video. You can purchase as many stages as you like, and now that's why you're seeing a lot of people they've purchased all these stages to get the K Panzer or to get the K91 whatever but when you do that when you do that you get the bottom rope as well this option here comes up claim rewards if you click on claim rewards you can see there's blueprints blueprints and crew books you can also choose which nation they're going to be good for so if that's a blueprint i might say i might say well look there's a there's a new check there's a new check um heavy tank out which you might see me playing very very soon as well there's a new check heavy tank out maybe i'll maybe i'll claim it i'll claim that one so maybe i'll use it maybe it's going to be a new line there's also there's also the same thing with the training guides you can you can pick what country you might want to 
use for the training guide. So because of that thing with the check thing, maybe I'll climb the check one as well. That's how you do it. That's pretty easy. It prompts you while you're on there. So yeah, get rewards received. How cool is that? There you go. Anyway, so if you've got the improved pass, you get both lines, which includes premium time, credits, credit boosters, um, personal reserves, training thingamabobs, garage slots. We can't get enough of them. And of course, the battle pass tokens. The battle pass tokens. If you click up here, items for tokens, you can have a look. And it tells you, this is the first time I've done this, so let's learn together. When you've got, If you get 18 tokens, the, the K Panzer might become available. If you've got 12 tokens, the K91 might become available. And the other three, the older tanks, are all worth nine tokens. Okay, now if, you don't, if you're not interested in those tanks, you can exchange them for bonds at any time. There you go, I thought it was going to be at the end of the event. But you can exchange them for bonds or credits. Their personal reserve, the credits. Anyway, back to the garage. I hope that's clear. I really do. Let's have a look at the other styles because why wouldn't you you're crazy if you don't as you go forward you, you get all the way to the end and you get the um the style gets upgraded to level four which we saw on the e3 and then you can you can still preview the next chapter view all the styles that's the that was you saw the e3 earlier this is the icebreaker one this is for the uh, the 121 that's that's the, the that's the stock one and then as you progress it gets up forward it's got that really cool looking um Whatever you want to call that, the the polar bear one, which is for the uh, the, the seven oh five. Have a look at that. Still a cool looking tank. Still a tank I enjoy. I reckon it looks amazing. Anyway, put all the styles on. How cool do the styles look? They look pretty cool. At this stage, we're going to go to the websites. There's three websites I'd like to point out. Links will be down below. They um they're all pretty helpful. This is the this is the latest update Water Tanks Asia has put on their website. Battle Pass Season Four. There's a pretty cool video goes for about 15 minutes there's pictures of the styles which we've all just seen in the garage or you can look in the garage i still i, I reckon they do a good job with the styles and a list of all the different rewards tokens decals um credits credit boosters base rewards and improved rewards 2d styles you name it it's all there and you get one of those medals as well items for tokens we've already been through that how to get the improved past so you can like I said, you can buy the improved pass, I think, for money in the premium shop, or you can exchange gold like you just saw, saw me do in-game. This other page, which will be the second link down below, is the event guide. Um, again, it, go, it, goes, it goes through pretty much how to do it. How to do it. Playing random battles, ranked battles, and Steel Hunter. Doesn't say anything about front lines, but we'll get to that in a minute. And there's something else that I think people are missing as well, as I read on the forums, about the dates. This thing goes until March... So it starts on March 15th and it goes to, where's the date, where's the end date? June the 16th, there you go. So March, April, May, June, three, well, pretty much three months exactly. It goes for three months. However, there's more interesting information about dates later on and, that, and it's relevant to your tokens. Three stages. So you get the points. This In this guide, it tells you how you get your points. Remember, 50 points per chapter, 50, chap 50 points per stage, 50 stages per chapter. Do I say that 20 times, especially after a few drinks? Random or ranked battles? Random in tier 6 and up, ranked obviously in tier 10. If you're top 3 in the winning team, you get 7 points. Top 10, you get 5. In a defeat, it's 5 points for the top 3, 3 points for the top 10. And Steel Hunter, if you're playing solo, um, if you're playing solo, you need to get in the top 10. Top 10, you get 5 points. Top five, you get 10 points, and if you win, you get 20 points. That's a significant uh, That's a significant advantage, a significant boost for this week only as Steel Hunter's on. But Steel Hunter will be back three more times this year. Don't worry about that. And there's also daily missions, which we'll have a look at in the when we go back to the garage in a minute. But they, that's a potential, what's that? Is that 32 points? 15 for level three, 25, yes, yeah, 32, that's 32 points. That's nearly another stage per day. That really does Add up. There's progression points limit. That's just for random battles. Uh, tier 6, you might have seen me do this in Tier 6. Point limit is 100. Once you hit 100, you get 15 bonus points. Last year, I was doing a lot of Tier 6 battles uh, to get the points up, get, to get those 15 points uh, bonus to try to help my progress. This year, I'm going to be looking at more on the daily missions as well as the Steel Hunter daily missions because that's really going to help. I think that's really going to help my progress. Um there's a bit more about point limits, a little bit more about the vehicles. Of course, with those, there's three um, focused vehicles. Last time there was two. The 705A, the Russian Tier 10 rear turreted heavy tank. The 121, Chinese medium tank, and the T110E3. Uh, three of them have got, if you like playing Tier 10s, the three, the, those three tanks have got three different uh, sets of bonus points. So for the 705, if you're top, top three, you get uh, 
Eight in a victory, six in a defeat or a draw. Six points for the top ten, four in a defeat. So that's one extra point, uh, regardless of where of where you finish. For the 121, um, for a victory, top three, you get nine points. So that's a bit more. Top five, you get seven. Top ten, you get five. So they're standard. So the 121 is like that. That was done in... Uh, that's been done before. Only in the top three you get your bonuses. So it looks like two bonus points for the top three. And the T1 10 E3, top three for 10 points, top 10 for five points. So top 10 is the same, but top three gets a bonus. Before I get too dry, there's a little calculator here. You can work out how many tanks you got. There's some great visuals of the three tanks and, and the levels of the um, 3D styles. So I think look amazing. There's also three new crew members: Vasily Bedayev, who we've had before in the Russian, um, in the Russian, uh, the Russian heavy tank. Shan Ling, who's the new one, who's in the videos, he's in the 121. And George Barton, who's in the videos in the T1 10 E3. But last year he was in a Super Conqueror, which would imply that he's British. But now he's in a T1 10 E3. I think that's a direct reference to the fact that all of these three crew members, you can pick what country they're in. So even though George Barton's British, you can put him in whatever tank, whatever nation you like. That's one of the the changes for last time. There's also bounty equipment, which is up for grabs. I think bounty equipment is maybe only on the um, improved pass, but I could be wrong. Tell me if I am. And of course, there's some, some visuals about all the different things you can get going through the uh, different through the different stages that, that's which, which which you can look at in the garage anyway you can look at the you can look at that in the garage you can see all the cool stuff you can get for your garage there's 2d customization as well decals all that kind of stuff and there's some information about the tanks now I was talking about the dates that's the improved rewards whether it's gold whether it's cash talking about the dates before this we, we saw at the start at the top of this article. Apologies for the, for the scrolling all the way up there. It starts on March 15th, so it's already started, and it goes until June 16th. On the next article, which is the Battle Pass Guide, which I will also link down below, um, regarding dates, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, this is important. A lot of people would have already worked this out, but I only just did. Tokens, so the tokens, that's for the tanks and for the bonds. Tokens can be exchanged for items until December the 19th. That's a long way past June. Six months past June, to be exact. That tells me there's going to be one, probably two more seasons this year. And the tokens will probably add up. I haven't got this. I, I, I don't know if they've announced this or not, but it's something people seem to be missing. People are saying, hang on, you can only get 18 um, tokens to get the, the, the K Panzer or the K91. The two K tanks. You can only you can only get that if you've purchased the pass. Well, no. If this goes forward to the neck to season five and six, then you don't have to pay for those improved passes to, to get those tanks. All you need to do is be a little bit patient. Now, pl we mentioned earlier, pl plenty of people haven't been patient, and they've bought the whole lot of stages. That's not something I would recommend anyone doing, unless you really, really, really want these tanks, which are not. They're not bad, <laughs> but they're not. I don't know. Patience is a virtue, right? If I scroll back to the top of this said article. This is the Battle Pass uh, General Guide article. It's got about ranked, but of course, again, it mentions front lines in this time. So that tells me that front lines, I think, I think Wargaming have already said that front lines will be in the second um, half of 2021. And you'll be able to get those those progression points through front lines as well. Now, the reason they've done this, ranked battles, random battles, front lines, and Steel Hunter, is so that we don't have people playing a specific mode that they don't like, but they feel they need to play just to get those points if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. I think that's about it as far as all these websites go. There's more about the vehicles, the progression styles, which we've already seen, those cool pictures, battle pass points, daily missions. We're going to have a look at these daily missions back in the garage. Now, I haven't done any daily missions yet. Now, I mentioned here earlier, I've only been playing this for three days and we're up to level 12, 12 out of 50. Now, if you, if you over the three-month period, you want to finish all 150 um, chapters, stages, whatever you want to call them, um, it's it's only two a day. So in three days, I've done 12. So I'm miles ahead of being on track of doing it. And I don't, I'm not that, I'm not the most active player in the world, but I'm also not very inactive. Daily missions, which I haven't done these ones for today. These are, these are your normal daily missions that you get every day. You get more bonus points here. For the third one, you get 15 points. For the second one, you get 10. That's progression points. And, and seven. Now, a total of 32. Now, there's 50 points in a, um, there's 50 points in a stage. If we get to, if we go to, 
these daily missions for Steel Hunter. And this is, of course, this is only going to be for this week. There's another 40, which you can do every day. There's some more for credits there, which is awesome. Four kills for 20 more Battle Pass points and 8,000 damage for 20 more. Now, I've done that in one game. I've done a lot less than that in one game, let's be honest. But they're, they're, they're um, culminative, I think is the word. You, you don't have to do that all in one game. You can take as many games as you like. Um, so four kills and 8,000 damage. That's for 40, 40 battle pass points for that mission. And, of course, for this one, it's... Uh, what's that work out to be? Did I say 32? So 32 plus 40 is 72. There's, a, there's one and a half stages. This can be done in one random battle. This also doesn't have to be in Tier 6 and above. So if you're someone who likes the lower tiers, or if you're not up to Tier 6 yet, you can still get these missions done um, in, a, in a lower tier vehicle. Hopefully this guide has been useful. Don't forget the dates. Don't forget you can... You're not obliged. You don't have to get all of these tanks in the first in this first season. It's going to roll over. I'm sure it's going to roll over. They haven't told me it's going to roll over, but that date saying mid-December, that tells me that for, the, for season five and maybe even season six, these tokens will add up. So the, the free to, if you're a free-to-play player, you don't have to feel like you're missing out. You just need to wait a little bit longer. Um, myself, you just saw me. I bought the improved pass. That's what I'm going to do. However, I've got lots of gold sitting there. Um, so, you know, spend your money wisely. If you're going to be playing, if you think you, you can you, you can also buy, you don't have to buy the improved pass straight away. If you if you get up, if you get up to here and think, well, hang on, it might be worth it. Maybe wait a little bit. Maybe wait. Maybe don't be so impatient. Maybe get to in the, in the level 40s and say, well, hang on, it's probably worth it. But, you know, if you find yourself, you're busy at work or busy at home life, and by the end of it, you're only up to about here, then I would say no, don't buy it. Anyway. Any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll be playing these new tanks uh, this week on stream on Twitch. Link down below. Come and see us. Say good day. Laugh at my misfortune. We'll also be playing the new Skoda uh, at the same time. For the heavy tank, which has just been revealed as a ranked reward tank. More on that another day. Hopefully I haven't waffled too much on in this video. Massive thanks to everyone who's um, hung around <laughs> till the end. Um, see you on Twitch. Don't try to kill me too much. Uh, any questions? Ask me down below, comments, like, subscribe, get on board, all that kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully it's been informative, and I think I have waffled on a little bit too much, but look, is it worth it? I think it's worth it for me, and it's worth it for some of my friends, but it might not be worth it for you, so think about it. Don't spend your money responsibly, and um, good luck. Good luck getting all, your, all the free stuff. Thanks very much again for watching. Take care, and see you all next time.